everybody! Today the bookworms are going to be reading How Do You Know It's Summer? by Ruth Owen. Table of Contents It's summer. There are four seasons in every year. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Summer is the season when many people have fun at the beach on hot sunny days. Gardens are filled with colorful flowers. Busy insects seem to be everywhere. Look for these and other signs of summer as spring comes to an end each year. Each year, summer starts on either June 20th or June 21st. The first day of summer is marked on calendars. Describe what summer weather is like where you live. The longest day is here. As summer gets closer, there are more hours of light each day. Sometimes, it is even still light outside at bedtime. The first day of summer is the longest day of the year. This means there are many more hours of light than darkness on that day. Once summer arrives and the longest day has passed, there are fewer hours of daylight each day. It's heating up. Hot weather is often a sign that summer has arrived. It may even feel hot outside at night. In some places, it may not rain for days or weeks during the summer. In some places, summer is the time for thunderstorms. People may see lightning flashes and hear of the rumble of thunder. Every Saturday, for four weeks during the summer, use a thermometer to measure the temperature outside. Each measurement must be done at the same time of day. See how the temperature changes from week to week. Summer colors. Many plants grow colorful flowers in summertime. Butterflies and bees often go from flower to flower to find food. They are looking for the sweet liquid that flowers make. It is called nectar. Plants make seeds inside their flowers. The seeds drop from the flowers in late summer and fall. In spring, the seeds will grow into new plants. Different types of flowers have different colors and smells. Smell several different kinds of flowers. Then draw a picture of each flower in a notebook. Write down words that describe each flower's smell under each picture. In spring, fat green buds grow on the branches of some trees. The bud first bursts open into a flowers and leaves. By summer, however, the flowers have disappeared and the leaves cover the trees. There may be another clue that summer has arrived hidden among the leaves. Fruit! On apple trees, for example, tiny apples begin to appear during the summer. Apple tree flowers, apple tree leaves, tiny apples. Many insects and spiders live in trees. Look for them on the trunk of a tree or on a branch and leaves close to the ground. Check the area around the tree too. Count how many bugs you see. Don't touch or disturb the tiny creatures. The leaves of a tree make a shady spot where people and animals can cool off on a hot day. Time to leave home. Summer is a season when many young animals leave their mothers. Squirrels are born in spring. By the summer, they are old enough to live on their own. They will build themselves homes called drays from twigs and leaves. A squirrel collecting twigs and leaves. Dray. In summer, it is usually cooler in the early morning and evening than in the middle of the day. Many animals look for food at these times. They rest in the shade during the hottest parts of the day. Taking off. Many young birds learn to fly in summer. For example, a swallow chick begins to learn by standing on the edge of its nest. It flaps its little wings again and again, trying them out. Then it jumps. With its mother and father close by, the young swallow takes its first flying lesson. Birds like to splash in water to cool off in the summer. Put about 2 inches 5 centimeters of water in a shallow bowl and leave it outside. Then watch for about 15 minutes and count how many birds come to cool off in the water. Tiny signs of summer. In summer, you can see more insects than at any other time of year. Grasshoppers hop around on lawns eating grass and other plants. Tiny aphids suck the juices from plants. Hungry ladybugs stay busy eating the aphids. Look for black ants in your backyard. If you see some, put out three piles of food, lettuce, sugar, and breadcrumbs. Guess which food the ants will like best. Watch to see if you guess right. 
Insects eat at plants and other insects. In summer, it is easy for them to find lots of food. Summer in a garden. In summer, the seeds that people planted in spring have grown into plants. Giant sunflowers soar taller than a child. Juicy red tomatoes hang from tomato plants. Crunchy carrots grow under the soil. Summer is a season when gardens are filled with flowers and good things to eat. Summer lasts until September 22nd or 23rd. Then fall begins. Science Lab. When you are playing in your backyard, on the playground at school, or in the park, go on a summer treasure hunt. See how many of the things on the summer treasure hunt list you can see, smell, hear, or collect. If it's not summer where you live, then draw a picture of summer. Include as many things from the list as you can. Then when summer comes to where you live, go outside and try to find the things you put in your drawing. Summer treasure hunt. Things to see. A ladybug, a butterfly, ants going into and out of a crack in the pavement, an animal under a shady tree, a bird taking a bath, fruit growing on a tree, a flower that is taller than you, things to smell, freshly mown grass, the air after it has rained on a hot day, things to hear, the chirping of crickets, a bee buzzing, a bird chirping, things to collect, five green leaves with different shapes, a blue flower, a red flower. Science words. Aphids. Small insects that eat the juice as off plants. Buds. Small growths on the stem of trees and other plants that grow into flowers and leaves. Insects. Small animals that have six legs, three main body parts, two antennas, and a hard covering called an exoskeleton. Nectar. A sweet liquid made by plants. Seeds. Tiny parts of a plant that form in the flower and can grow into a new plant. Weather. How hot or cold it is outside and other conditions such as rain, wind, and snow. The end. There were some really fun activities in this book. We hope you tried them out. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye!